This is my 5 slash 31 slash 2024 market recap. So, on my daily buys, I basically bought your ass. I said so. I said you guys, right? So, news came out. As I told you guys in the daily buys, I would, I would like to see the news be bullish, right? As I think I hope I said this say that. I don't think I said that, but news should definitely be bullish for EXY. I mean, for gold. Because you can see, all the frag up all the way in. The 4 hour frag, right? then the 4 hour liquidity was right here, without the whole other bug in. Right? Other thing is that, right, throughout this, I had I had only one setup, but I was like, yo, I need an hourly confluence. So you see right here, I have my setup right, or where was it? I have my setup somewhere over here. I had my setup somewhere, I had my setup right here to the buy side to go for the 4 hour liquidity. 4 hour, I mean, 4 hour auto block and a breakup block, right? I didn't take that because that was news play. I was like, I'm like, yo, let me calm down, right? That we had a sell setup from here to all the way down here, all the way down here to this. I had a setup from there to all the way to this sell setup liquidity and this other sell setup liquidity and this auto block right here. I did not take that because it goes against religion, but I'm done for the day because the hour they just closed below this line. That means he does not want to go higher no more. He wants to, he wants to just chill. It's either accumulation or just hello slow movement i don't want to do that i don't want to deal with that you know what i'm saying i'm done for the day we ended the we ended the week with a lot of lessons you know what I'm saying let's not make the same mistakes over and over so what's what's our next name you know saying what's what's our name main focus for the next week is not buying selling premium i'm gonna go for one take profit i'm going to get the day buys look at both sides of the market right act smarter not be dumb right and the other thing is that we have to work on having a wider stop loss using the market right or right and constantly look at the market better, look for better opportunities. Don't don't just look for a premium spot. Always look for better spots to get in, right? So basically, the break of structure is far away from the market in a five minute, the one minute. I'm basically looking for a like a five minute confluence. So basically, like a two bullish candles, right? If I'm buy, if I'm buys, right? And the break of structure is far away. Just two bullish candles and look for a five minute confluence is enough for me to go be like, yo, that's a lot of buy. That's a lot of buying practitioners that can go higher. And yeah, that's it. Is my market recap so yeah that's what to care for the next week and yeah thank you for watching man there's oh you guys you know what i'm saying with some days we don't get no setups because the market just you know say doesn't want to move our way no more the market is probably dead because there's a huge move up the huge move down the market is dead because of that there's a lot of money out of the market there's no need for us to stay in the market for like another like couple minutes it's not it's not worth it you know what I'm saying that is over even if we get set up the market is dead thank you for watching